We honor our apostle, amen. <laughs>
moms, everybody. The women in especially, amen. Because we're the only seed, the only species that can give forth. The female. Power of 
thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In Luke, the first chapter, we have the announcement of the greatest news ever told to a woman. We're told that Mary was poor. She was poor. Amen. She lived in the hood. But she was chosen. So it doesn't matter if you're in the hood. The seed is still there. Because when God put his hands on you, he placed in you a assignment. Hallelujah. She lived in Nazareth. She was engaged to Joseph. Now in the sixth month, God was going to visit. Oh, God. In the sixth month, God will deliver. God will visit. He came to Amen Mary, the angel Gabriel, and he greeted her. He said, Hail thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. This salutation raised in Mary a sense of worth. You're somebody, women. Hallelujah. You are extreme value to God. And he desires to use you in a magnificent way. But there's some decisions you have to make. Hallelujah. Mary was chosen to bring forth. Amen. You have to take vitamins, right? When you bring them. Okay, I've been there. Amen. Take prenatal vitamins. You got to go to the doctor every so many months. You can't eat everything. Right? Okay. Amen. Praise God. Such as it is in the spiritual realm. You can't eat everything. You can't, oh my God. You can't take everything. You can't hang around secondhand smoke. Because it destroys the baby. It affects the baby. That's right. Thank you, God. God is saying, watch your dietary intake spiritually. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. She was chosen to bring forth. And the Holy Ghost, he said to her, the Holy Ghost, let me back up. She wondered and said, okay, how shall this be, seeing I don't know a man? She wasn't doubting. She was just wondering how it was going to be. Because she was a virgin. Amen. And the angel said, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. And that thing in you, hallelujah, it shall be born, it shall come forth, because the anointing, it activates, it quickens a dead womb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying, in order to you to live as my ambassadors, you need the anointing. It is God's supernatural power to set you apart, to do his will, to work in his vineyard. Hallelujah. If that's your desire, and that's why he came, just say anoint him. Lift your hands. Anoint him. Fall on me. Anoint him. Fall on me. And when that anointing falls on you, God is a primary agent to see from the inception to the birth. He will see it through. When you surrender your saying, not my will, but yours be done. I surrender. I give up the world so that I can follow you. It's a choice you gotta make. The anointing is not cheap. But you got to be willing, you got to be obedient to set yourself aside. Now, if you have a half a chicken, you don't need no more chicken. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. He wants you to develop discipline. Yeah. Amen. For you to house the anointing, for you to deliver the baby, you have to have discipline. That's right. That's right. It's a choice that you have to make. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So the Holy Ghost, amen, and God in charge will look after the matter from conception to manifestation. In verse 36, the angel told 
told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was six months pregnant. In her old age, she was once called barren, right? For with God, nothing is impossible. We're told that Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to your word. So she surrendered to God so that God will work its work in her, that she can complete her assignment. Amen. My assignment is not your assignment. Your assignment is not my Geneva's assignment. We all got an assignment. We all got a job. There's something in that God placed. Amen. You might be a rat from the neck up. He has already been determined. You're in from the beginning. But you got to line up with the word. You got to say, Lord, here am I. I surrender. I surrender. Hallelujah. I surrender. In verse 39, amen, we're told that Mary went to Elizabeth. And we're told that as soon as Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, something supernatural happened. The babe in Elizabeth's womb leaped. Yes. As a confirmation, amen. Yes. Be careful who you tell folk what about your call. That's right. You should be with someone that will help celebrate you, yes. not take away. Listen, there's some spiritual leeches out here. Uh -huh. yes. Jesus. 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 And you better be careful. So, a uh, uh, Mary, amen, the anointed fell on her. And that seed was quickened. It was activated. Yes. And just her saying, hello. The baby leaped. The leaped. I want to be so. And I speak a word. Triumphantly, as the 
an ambassador over adverse situations. And the enemy will cause things to loom up. But you got to look past that and say, I'm on a mission. I will not come down. I will not come down. Hallelujah. And that anointing will lift you up. Like an eagle. Anointing. Yes. The anointing 
will dismantle the plot of the enemy. The anointing will destroy the chains of the enemy. Chains of addiction. A chain, whatever chain is holding you. He will destroy it. Amen. He will destroy it. Amen. The anointing. Praise God. Your stagnant spiritual womb will come alive. Amen. And you get back on track. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a hand.
the actual Pentecost of Sunday, everyone I ask, please bear quiet. Leadership training series to begin in June. More details and information will follow. This training will be done by our assistant pastor, Elton Denise Baker, and she will give you more information if you have any questions for this task. And for the fundraiser for our, our baby, Kanaja, and then it is still open to anyone that wants to give. The device has been ordered, and it should arrive tomorrow evening about 7 p.m. Somebody show a lot of